Hello, Mr. Barton here. And in this video, I'm going to answer a question that a couple of users have asked me, and that's how can you create your very own topic units and add them to the scheme of work? Well, I've slightly bad news for you, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. You can't. Um, but there's a very specific reason for that, and that's because each of these topic units has been designed in a very specific way um, in that they comprise of three quizzes. And each of those quizzes has been written by the exam boards to address specific misconceptions. And as you'll know if you've seen these, question four from the baseline quiz, for example, covers the same misconception as question four from the progress and the same misconception as question four from the understanding. So therefore you can track the progress of that misconception over time. And for users to be able to do uh, add their own topic units, they'd need to write three quizzes in that exact same way and so on. So that was one reason. And secondly, hopefully it's something that won't come up too much because, as I've said in previous videos, these quizzes um, have been written by the exam boards to cover the entire GCSE. So hopefully you won't need to be adding your own quizzes all that often. But I fully understand as a teacher myself, there are occasions where you want to add your own quiz and set your own quiz for your students. Perhaps you want to revise something that they've been a bit ropey at, or perhaps you want a little compilation quiz or something like that. Now I'm going to come on to what you can actually do during revision periods and holidays in a later video, but I'll just show you one quite nice way around um, this, this whole issue of not being able to add your own topic unit. So say for example, I'm here on my edit scheme page and I want to um, add um, a, a different topic unit, perhaps um, something on, I don't know, basic number in between rounding and probability for my year 10 class. So the first thing I've got to do is create myself a bit of space. Now we've looked at this in a previous video, so I'm going to take uh, my probability unit and I'm just going to drag it. So I've just created myself a nice week's bit of space there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on uh, this bit of space. And it's going to open up my um, edit uh, menu and I'm just going to put set number quiz. Now that's not going to automatically set a number quiz, flipping it, that would be good if, if that did happen. But what that's going to do, it's going to serve as a reminder to me that I need to do something, that I need to set some number uh, based quiz. And to do that, I'm just going to go into diagnostic questions as normal and I'm going to go to the collections page. And um, one of my all time favorite pages is this. And say, for example, like Dumbledore, I'm following the AQA scheme of work. What I may choose to do is take a, an OCR quiz or an Edexcel quiz on number and just manually assign that to my class, just like I would do any other quiz or for any other class that wasn't following the scheme of work. And all you need to do to do that is just make a note of the date that you've, uh, you've set aside to set that and then just assign it to your class just as you normally would do. So hopefully that'll be uh, that that'll help users who, who've asked that particular question and you can understand the logic of why we've set things up as we have. 